everyone, welcome back to day 2 of our North Kyushu adventure. Papa, say. Say, hello, I am Lucas, Papa. Is Lucas a good boy or not a good boy? No, good boy. I'm a handsome boy. Today, we are taking a scenic ferry ride across the water to explore the Shimabara Peninsula. There are two ferry companies, Kumamoto Ferry and Kyushu Ferry. So be sure to check their website for schedule and choose the one that best fits your needs. We opted for the speedier option with Kumamoto Ferry, cutting the travel time down to just 30 minutes. After grabbing our pre-book return tickets, you can buy both ways at once. We hustled back to the car, gonna meet on board 25 minutes before departure. Hopping on the ferry was an adventure in itself. We followed the car in front and drove right onto the vessel. Parking complete, we all headed out to the top deck to enjoy the ocean views. The second floor has comfy bench seating, while the third floor offers relaxing sofas, perfect for catching some rains or taking photos. For a bit of extra fun, we even grabbed some snacks from the second floor and fed the seagulls following the ferry. A delightful experience. Bugging a Shimabara port, we made a quick stop at a convenience store for some road trip snacks. There was full of selection. Then, with bellies full of anticipation, we headed to our big highlight. Dolphin washing at Minami Shimabara. Unfortunately, 
when we arrived, things weren't quite as planned. The office had signage saying there wouldn't be any boat trips that day due to weather conditions. Apparently, they'd even emailed us about the cancellation the day before, but oops, we hadn't checked. No dolphin washing, no problem. We took it in stride and decided to explore some other cool spots. First up, a quick roadside stop at the iconic Futako Iwa Rock Formation. A great opportunity for a fun group photos. Our next stop was a must try for any foodie. Lunch at the famous Musika Mayai restaurant. Be prepared to wait, we waited for over an hour. Their fresh sushi set and hot spring steamed seafood are legendary. The unique concept involves choosing your own seafood from a selection, then having it cooked to perfection in steaming hot springs. Just behind the restaurant, there's another popular spot, a cafe famous for its cakes and puddings. Since they were packed, we grabbed some takeaway treats for later. From there, we venture into Unsan Jinkoku, a geothermal wonderland for sulfur hot springs and fumaroles. The air was thick with the smell of sulfur, and the smoky pools and whiskey steam created an otherworldly atmosphere. There's even a walkway leading up a hill for a unique perspective. And for the adventurers, the chance to boil eggs in the natural hot spring. As the 
day wound down, we returned to the port with a little shopping spree for more snacks. Can you ever have enough? The ferry ride back was a repeat of the morning's fun. Car deck, upper deck, and a final attempt to play with the seagulls. Sadly, there was only one lolly girl left this time who enjoyed a quick bite before flying off. Perhaps heading home just like us? With the ferry ride complete, we finally made it back to Kumamoto for a well-deserved dinner at Kasurasu Tei. We actually tried to go there yesterday, but the line was too long. Persistence pays off and we were finally rewarded with a delicious meal. Headed back to our hotel, the Coco Premier Hotel, for a good night's sleep before our next adventure. Stay tuned for more fun in the next episode. Coming up next. Bye.